Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, guys. I'll make sure you guys can see her properly. There we go. You guys can see her. I've got natural lighting and I've got my ring light going, so it is like four, just after four o'clock here in Ontario and Hamilton, so the lighting is going to be a little off, but I think it looks fine. How is everybody today? It's, uh, it's been kind of a busy day today, so I wanted to hang out with you guys. Do a video, quick changing video, with my adorable Ruby that I so love. I actually just love her in this outfit, though. I'm not going to lie. I really don't want to change her. But I was thinking about putting her in this pretty dress. I think it's really, really sweet. I need to get more outfits. I was looking and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm starting to run through all my, my outfits. So I was thinking about putting her in this like beige outfit with the pink going across it. I think it would look really sweet on her. Hope everyone's having a great week though. I know it's been kind of long Wednesday today so yeah. I don't know. I will take this off her for now and then see what I think. Yeah, if you guys don't remember, she was painted by Sue Lovely Creations. Her name is Sherry. I just love this little girl. I love her so much. So adorable. Like, her hair is so amazing. It really needs to be brushed. Try and avoid brushing the hair unless it absolutely needs to be brushed. Um, You know, if it gets messy, brush it. But if it looks good, don't brush it. I avoid it. So there's no breakage or anything like that. I think I can get this off her like this. She's so cute. I love this outfit. I'm trying to figure, remember I where I bought this now. I think I got it for my friend. I'm not sure. Oh, it has the... I was thinking, what am I doing here? Poor Ruby. So it's been kind of a busy day. I'm just working on two kits. One is a custom out of it, and the other one is, um, there we go. One's a custom, and one is uh, a for sale baby. So if you guys follow me on Facebook, that's where I post all my babies up for sale. So, she's so cute. I just adore her. I adore her coloring. It's so gorgeous. So yeah, this, this little girl was a custom baby. If you haven't checked um, Sherry out, I would. I would check out her work. She's on Facebook. So she is amazing, guys. I love her work. It's absolutely pretty. So, so nice. I love how she has all that... Um, it's like lightly textured, but it still feels nice. You know, it's not overly textured, which I love. So like I was saying, um, I'm painting two dolls right now. I'm painting the Rosalie kit, which will be available for sale once completed. I do have a person that is possibly interested in her. So I'm going to have to give her first dibs <laughs> before I put, him up, put her up for sale. But if uh, she is not interested in the doll, the doll will definitely be for sale. Um, and I have an August, but the August is a custom order. So somebody loved um, the other August that I made. That was um, actually just for sale, but somebody loved him so much that you know they adopted him. So. Uh, they, they're upset that they, you know, didn't get the chance to get that doll. So um, they messaged me and said, hey, is there any way you can make me this kit as well? And I was like, yeah, of course, you know. Um, the only thing is I, since these are all pieces of art, um, I don't 
and I can't replicate the same doll that I made the first time. They are basically, you know, oak. You consider them oak babies. They're one of a kind. So even though I will make someone, um, for instance, if I make a Rosalie and somebody messaged me to tell me to make her them a Rosalie, um, I will make it for them. But the only thing is that it won't come out the same as the first one. Because when you do, when I make my babies, especially me, I make them all different. I have a certain way of making them. I paint as I go along. I don't have a way of doing things. I always make them different. So I will paint them almost identical to the first one that they loved. But it will never turn out exactly the same. Unless you are painting them what, like side by side. And you're doing exactly the same colors you used on the first baby. Then there's a possibility they will look as identical as possible. Like if you're making twins. But one of them will always look slightly different than the other. They will never turn exactly the same. These are all like these babies are hand painted. So, you know, there's never a way to find out exactly how a baby will turn out. So I always tell them that. I always say, hey, I will make you this baby. I'll make them, I'll try to make them as close to um, as the first baby that I made. But I wouldn't want the baby to be exactly the same because, well, I don't know. I feel that, um, you know, if you own an artist's work and you want a baby to look a certain way, you don't want another person to own the exact same baby because it doesn't make it, you know, personable. So that's why I get really happy when all my babies turn out differently because I don't want them to turn out the same. <laughs> I don't. I want them to all have their own individuality. I may make them as close to each other as I possibly can, especially the, if the mother or the adoptee, whoever wants to adopt my baby, if they want to have a similar baby that I just made, I will try and make it as close as I can. And maybe change out the hair a little bit, you know, it'll maybe a little bit different, a little bit lighter or a little bit darker because it won't, it won't always be, it won't be exactly the same, but the painting style and everything like that will be very, 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 very similar. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing with my August. Um, he will be similar to the August that I just made, but he'll be slightly different. Look at him. She's so cute. So yeah, guys, I just completed um, the detailing stage today. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, my The only thing that I need to do left on those babies are... Um, varnishing i'm gonna be matte varnishing them tomorrow and i will be glossing them as well so like any extra details it's done but the painting aspect of it is all done and which i'm really really happy about so and then sometime next week i will be starting rooting process on those babies because they're both going to be rooted i wasn't sure if i wanted to root um rosalie but i'm like yeah i'll just root her she's gonna be rooted I've been so used to just rooting my babies that I'm just going to root it. So, yeah. I need to start doing some painted hair babies too, though. Because <laughs> there are some people out there that also prefer painted hair babies. I don't know. I always tend to uh, go back to just rooting. I love rooting. I mean, I love it, but it's also a lot of work. So, it's, it's, it's a mixture. It's a mixture of both. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to get on here quickly, um, make a video with my adorable little Ruby here. I just finished painting. Like I said, I'm just letting everything cure for tonight before I do my next step. And yeah, just if you haven't seen photos of the babies yet, go on my Facebook and you can go take a look um, at all the, ba the baby. Looks really, they look really cute so far. Um, I can't wait till they have their hair done and then everything comes it just, everything comes together. I love it. I love how everything just comes together. So, yeah. Oh, and another thing, one thing before I uh, I go. 
um, make sure just if you um, are new here or you're just kind of stumbling upon my page, just remember uh, my the video I did before this one, I am doing a giveaway on my channel. Um, there's no the the rules are below that video so it's the video before this one i am having a chan uh, a channel oh my gosh i am having a reborn giveaway on the kit uh, bonita by phil donnelly so if you are interested in that i will be reborning that baby and some um, one lucky person will be winning that baby like I said, guys, in my previous video, if I could give everybody a reborn, I would give everybody a reborn. But unfortunately, I cannot. I cannot do that. No one can do that. <laughs> well, maybe some people can, but don't know if they would want to. Uh, but yeah, if, but if I could, I would, to be honest. But yeah, one lucky person will be winning the Bonita by uh, Phil Donnelly. Um, there isn't, I'm just going to be painting him or her and uh, the winner will be able to choose whether they want it to be a boy or a girl because right now in my head with that, that kit, I see a girl. So if I completed it, I would just make it a girl, but I will leave it up to uh, the person who wins. So I guess on the day that I decide to make do photos on the baby and stuff like that, I will just make boy and girl photos for a photo shoot. And then the person who wins can choose what they see. What they see and what they like. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to end it here. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to be a part here and you want to join the giveaway, do that now. Outside of that, guys, I hope you guys stay safe and... Take care of one another and be kind. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.